Today is day 12 of the month of machine 2013. In this video, we'll be enabling host transport controls on the machine hardware controller. When using machine as a VST in a DAW like Ableton Live, the transport controls on the machine controller become inactive. This is due to the fact that the machine controller is only sending information to the machine VST and not to the application that is hosting it. To remedy this problem, Native Instruments implemented the host transport controls feature. By using this feature, the machine controller will send MIDI data to your DAW when you use the transport controls, while all of the other buttons and knobs will continue to affect the machine VST. To enable host transport controls, open the controller editor application. In the template section, go and choose Mackey Control. If you don't see the Mackey Control template, click on the Edit button, then go to Append, and then select Mackey Control. With the Mackey Control template selected, turn on Host Transport Control in the box below. You can now close the controller editor and launch your preferred DAW. I'll be using Ableton Live. In Ableton Live, you want to go ahead and open up the preferences. So I'm going to go ahead and go to Live, then go to Preferences. Then you're going to want to make sure you're on the MIDI Sync tab. Under Control Surface, I'm going to click on this drop down menu here, and then I'm going to go ahead and select Mackey Control. Then under Input, I'm going to click on that drop down menu and then select Machine Controller. Now we can go ahead and close out of the preferences. Because I have machine loaded as a VST, you can see that I have the standard displayed options on the hardware controller itself. The difference is that now the play, restart, step left, step right, and erase buttons are lit up. In some cases, they may work differently. So for example, in Ableton Live, the play button works as a play button. If it's already playing, you can press that again to restart. You can use the erase button to stop. You can use the restart button to go back to the beginning. Although when I'll, I was doing this on a Windows machine, the restart button turned the loop on and off, which was interesting. And the step button work very much like the step buttons that are used in machine. So it really just depends on what operating system you're using, what DAW you're using, and what version of the template that you're using from the controller editor. If you'd like to see more machine tutorials, subscribe at youtube.com slash the DJ podcast.